Hello, I'm Jared Kuszewski. I'm a computer technician and... This video is about the Windows System Restore and how it can help you if you find yourself in that unfortunate situation where you think you're infected or you know you're infected with something and you need to roll back in time and peel it off. Now the Windows System Restore is good for rolling you back in time. You do not lose user important stuff like your documents, your pictures, your music, your emails. These things, I've never seen it lose them in years of using this and it's not supposed to anyways. So I just really haven't seen it screw up there. So it's kind of something safe you can do to roll yourself back in time without rolling everything back in time like things you care about. Just programs get peeled backwards. So Windows updates, programs that have been installed, and more importantly, viruses or corrupted things that need to be reversed back, they get peeled off too. Handy. However, a virus, if it's on your system, will try and block this fact. The System Restore, this is Windows 7 we're looking at at this time. Start, Programs, and Accessories, and in the System Tools folder is where we'll find System Restore. I won't click it now, but just to tell you, if you've got something nasty in there and you click that and it tells you you can't get there, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you still can't get there from a lower level mode. Now, here's Windows 7 I'm on. Here is... Uh, Windows XP machine I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate on using Oracle's VirtualBox, really awesome virtualization software. So you're going to see an XP machine fly up in front of us. I will be hitting the F8 key just to give you a visual where that is. Here's the on-screen keyboard. The F1 through 12 keys are usually above this point where I'm indicating and the F8 key would be right about here. And so you tap that about once or twice a second as the computer is booting. When I double click this icon, it will be the equivalent of booting the computer. So I will double click this and proceed with tapping F8. Double clicking. Okay. Tapping F8, tapping F8. Okay. There we are. This is what we're looking for. So I can stop tapping F8 once I get here. Black screen, white tapping, does say safe mode. Use your arrow keys on your keyboard to go ahead and move up. And we're going to choose safe mode with command prompt. That is the lowest possible boot you can do. The least amount of Windows running. It, it puts you in a command line environment like DOS. Uh, it's not really DOS anymore. But we can go ahead and launch the system restore even from that lowest level environment. And since less of Windows is running, the virus might not be running. And you can get to it, which is awesome. So I'm going to hit enter here. You may get a screen like this, and you might have more than one choice on here. The default is probably the right one. Like if you have more than one version of Windows loaded on the same hard drive or hard drives, just hit enter. Next, we see this nerdage go by as we enter safe mode. This is typical. You might not use safe mode all the time, so it may not seem typical to you. Once we get by here, we'll have it come up to the welcome screen. So even though we're going to command line, it still get this one welcome screen, which looks graphical. If you pick a user account that has a password, such as the administrator account on this one does have a password specified, the user one doesn't on this particular machine, so I'll click that one. Just jump right in under that account. This next step is specific to XP. We're presenting from XP in this case. You have to change directory to where the system restore utility is located so that you can run it. I will type in CD, meaning change directory. That's that command that we need to do. Backslash, so it'll go to the root. Windows backslash system32 backslash restore. So it's three directories off the root of the hard drive or three folders, whichever way you like to refer to it. I will hit enter having typed this in. BAML. That's what we needed to do in XP to get to the spot. You don't have to be in the spot for Vista 7. You just type this next command and it works. Okay, so we can all continue together. RST RUI is the command line to start the Windows System Restore because RSTRUI is like Restore User Interface. That's what that stands for. I'll hit Enter at this point and it'll take a while to pop. This computer has nothing really wrong with this virtual machine so it came up really fast. It can take up to a minute or two for you. Please do give it some time and if it comes up you're good. If it says it's disabled the virus may have Blocked it, unfortunately. Sorry. There's just some nasties out there, and then this option might not be available for you. But if it does come up and you get through the wizard, you can proceed through the wizard. Cool.
This is the XP version of the wizard, so we have a little calendar here. The other one looks a little bit more like a bunch of dates and restore points here. You only see the first most popular ones. There's a checkbox at the bottom left that says show earlier restore points or more restore points in Vista and in 7. You can check that off. Dates on this calendar view are in bold if they have a restore point on them. Some of these I've put here manually. Some of them happen automatically. If you use your computer often, you'll have lots of bold dates and lots of things to fall back to. If the virus has corrupted your restore point database, uh, you might have nothing to go back to. So that might be another instance where, oh darn, this isn't going to be a possibility for you and you have to pursue other means. Let's suppose for a moment that I was infected on the 21st. I'm on the 22nd here and I have a bold date here of the 19th where I have a restore point that I named and typoed. I was trying to type before things were screwed up, but oh well. So I'll hit next. That's the one we're selecting. I'll hit next again to confirm it on the confirmation screen here, and it proceeds to go and do it. This computer's not as messed up, so it will go rather quickly filling up this next bar here, and then it'll reboot. And uh, that should go pretty quick for this one. Your situation might be a little bit longer because there's possibly something wrong with your system. Imagine that. <laughs> or your computer's just a little older, or it has more software installed. Whatever. Okay, we're booting back up. Okay, so Windows is coming back up. We're going to get a welcome screen it automatically logs into the user account and we're going to have the notification screen saying it's restored back this boots a little bit slower because it's doing the final cleanup steps of the restore and then we'll be able to click ok on that confirmation screen and get back to our desktop and analyze whether we still see nasty things happening and if we still in fact have an infection Alrighty, we have restored to a point. Big notification in XP, there's a little smaller window in Vista and in 7, it just says you've restored. Uh, okay, so I hit OK, it draws the rest of my desktop. My tray icons will load over here and will be all the way fully booted up. If you don't have an antivirus, Microsoft's antivirus here is really darn good. It's called Microsoft Security Essentials. Just Google the word security. The most popular thing having security in it is Security Essentials. It will pop to the top of the list. It is free antivirus for two and a half years now. Really good. So if yours is busted up, you can at least download this and, and maybe even consider using only that. It's really good. And uh, scanning your system. You can use your browser to go ahead and browse around, see if you've got a hijacked home page, other weird pop-ups that you were doing this for because you had a virus, or if you've got nasty toolbars that you were trying to get rid of. Whatever the nasty was, you can see if it's gone now. If it is, hooray for the good guys. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, if that didn't work, they are making viruses nastier day by day, and I do apologize, the world is getting yuck here, and uh, I do hope you the best, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you for your time.